Hello guys, Manon from the Exception here and today I shall be doing a comparison between the Xiaomi Mi 4i and the Zenfone 2 2GB version. Now I shall be doing an opinion based review, hence um, not so many benchmarks, but rather than I ramble, let's begin. <music> And welcome back guys, um, the first thing I shall take a look at is the external of the devices. The Zenfone 2 has a 5.5 inch 720p display, while the Xiaomi Mi 4i has a 5 inch 1080p display. So on display, um, the, on paper, the Zenfone 2 loses to the Mi 4i, but how does it stack up? Let's see. When it comes to media consumption, um, both are a joy to use. Um, the Zenfone 2, because it's big, so um, it, you can fit in more, or the um, Mi 4i because of that 1080p display. And ultimately, it comes down to your own choice. Do you want a bigger phone and um, a uh, lesser quality screen or a smaller phone and a higher quality screen? Uh, for me, I'd actually choose the Mi 4i because it's very, very densely packed. Um, if you want to upgrade, you can always upgrade to the 4 gig RAM version of the Zenfone 2. But when it comes to media consumption, I'll go with the Mi 4i. Along with media uh, consumption is media creation. So um, one of the most important things in our phone these days is the camera. And when I did a camera test between both of them, there was not that much difference that I could notice actually. Both of them were quite capable shooters, but I would say the Mi 4i takes the, you know, edge in this one. The colors seem to come out much more saturated. You know, the sharpness is a tad bit sharper. And for me personally, I would go with the Mi 4i, but ultimately it's up to you too, so you can uh, also you know get a hands-on of the device and try it but for me I'll tell the Mi 4i wins the camera. When it comes to performance um, I did not run that many be benchmarks like I said this is mostly what I feel about the devices not necessarily technical. I would say the Zenfone 2 is way faster than the Mi 4i. In almost all situations that I encountered the Zenfone 2 is like a tad bit faster, especially when you're launching applications. It's always faster than the Mi 4i. When it comes to performance, I give it to the Zenfone 2. Playing games on both devices, there, were, um, there was very uh, little lag, I would say. Um, it did load a bit faster on the Mi 4i as opposed to the Zenfone 2, but yeah, not that much. And if you want to enjoy a gaming, you're still going to enjoy a gaming experience. Like I said, um, the screen is bigger on the Zenfone 2, but then there's a better screen on the Mi 4i. So at the end of the day, it's ultimately up until you to decide what you want. But when it comes to gaming, I would say equal. Both of them are quite good. Something I would um, actually point out to you guys before this video is over is the fact that when it comes to uh, display brightness, on the Mi 4i, it actually gets very, very bright as opposed to the Zenfone 2. And for differentiation, the Zenfone 2 has the back buttons that um, we are familiar with from the LG series. But it's really, really nice and there's double tap to wake, which is pretty useful. The moment you get used to that, you actually start tapping, double tapping phones to wake it up. And the Mi 4i has that 3100 milliamp hour battery, which means you're basically covered for the day. It's got that 1080p display, which means that you can watch all the movies you want. And it's really, really nice. And it's got that light feeling. Like it's really, really light compared to the Zenfone 2. And that has been it for this video, guys. Um, I hope it has been able to answer any of your questions. If you want a more technical, you know, all the specs and everything, you can go watch um, thousands of videos on YouTube, I bet. Um, last week, actually, it did update, not last week, I think two days ago, actually. I uh, uploaded a video of the Mi 4i where I recorded myself every single day for five days. So go check that out if you want even more videos on the Mi 4i. But that has been it for this video, guys. I shall catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget to hit that like button. You know, it really, really helps me. Um, subscribe so you don't miss future updates. And that has been it. I shall catch you guys next time. Don't forget to be awesome. Bye.